Join us as we venture across the great Indian technology outback. We visit the country's premier research labs and find out about the latest innovations. All of them have a global impact. All of them designed by Indian scientists. In Bangalore, a nanotechnologist has for the very first time generated electricity by placing carbon nanotubes in the blowing breeze. You can now use these nanotubes as a voltage source, which means that when the liquid flows, you generate voltage and current. It could be a new, never known before source of alternative energy. In Mumbai, a chemical engineer's fascination for soil and water and how the two can be used to create a green technology that treats Mumbai's sewage. It could change the face of sanitary engineering. We are looking forward to setting up more and more such plants in different parts of the country as well as in different parts of the globe. And we are looking at our big users, which are the corporations of the cities of the world, as our major customers. Down south in Chennai, the world's first $100 personal computer. It could transform the way we use computers forever. What we really need is to use internet to transform villages. We have kind of summed it up and sort of saying that we would like to see that the per capita rural GDP doubles in 8 to 10 years. That's a kind of dream with which we are focusing on. Imagine a typical Indian middle class earning about 8 to 10,000 rupees, a single income family. And the computer is something they've never owned till now, you know. They've only seen the rich kids using it at their homes. And this is where I think no one at PC manages to build a strong emotional connect. So now they feel a sense of pride owning the whole thing, you know. And uh, there is a certain status symbol that comes in along with owning the no one at PC. And I think this is going to be the single biggest success factor as we go along. And finally, in the country's capital, New Delhi, a team of researchers has developed a unique water-based compound that can revolutionize the treatment of brain tumors. It could be one of India's biggest techno-medical breakthroughs in recent times. There are three important points we, we thought we should uh, uh, actually look for. One is its biocompatibility. That means it should not have any kind of toxic reactions in the, of the body for the body and other system. Second is that its biodegradability. That means uh, it has to be degraded inside the body over a time period. And third is its affordability. Because that is also very important if you want to use it in a country like ours. 